The lizard fish chewed it all up. He devoured it. <laughs> yeah. This is what a lizard fish does to your bait. He uh, gutted it, sucked out all the insides, took all the skin off. So let me show you real quick how to pin on an anchovy on a circle hook. So we have all our anchovies in here and we have our live squid in the bag. We want to separate the two because the squid are so aggressive, they would just eat all our anchovies. We're going to find a nice size anchovy in here. I'm just going to take the hook and go in front of the eyeballs and go just like that through the nose. If I didn't have a sinker, I would gill hook it because I have a sinker on. Even though it's a small sinker, I want to hook it like this. I'm just going to cast it straight back. We got a little shipwreck behind us. And I'll just throw it straight back. A little, a little bit of line out, get rid of the little tangle in there, straighten it out. Put the reel in gear and just put in the rod holder. Now because I have a circle hook on there, I'm not going to set the hook. I'm going to just leave it in the rod holder, in gear, so when the fish runs with it, it'll set the hook by itself. Using the kelp, must be a bass. That blue guy though. And all that kelp's a fish. Somewhere in there. That's oh, a rock fish. Tree fish. Another rock fish. We still haven't got a bass. Nice little rockfish. Tasty. Now let them go. Let it go. There you go. All right. One nothing Dodgers. <laughs> your, bait, your bait's bigger than that fish. Does that, that count as a whole fish, Dan? I don't think so. I think we need a, a, a ruling on this. Stevie, what do you think? Half a fish. Half fish. You gotta ask for a ruling. So. Yeah, if you have to ask for a ruling, I agree. I agree with Charlie. That is a lizard. Dan, what's the official name for this sucker? Lizard fish. Lizard fish. Good lingcod bait, though, right? That's the word. Everything is that They say they're so oily that if you uh, dry them out, you can use them for candles. I don't know if that's true or not. All right, we're gonna keep moving down. We just got a few fish here, a couple lizard fish, a couple rock fish. And uh, the way I like to fish the wall is just pick up the anchor, slide down and try a few more spots, try to find a spot where the fish are active. You don't wanna waste too much time in one spot. And there's so, many, so much structure along here. You just keep moving and you find the fish that are active. I threw pinned on a little anchovy and a uh, really tiny, tiny sinker. Just let it sit on the bottom a little bit, float down, and I got bit. I gotta go really slow. I only have 12 pound test line on this outfit. And if I was in my skiff, this is probably what I'd be fishing most of the time. But you never know what to expect here, so this could be a little bit nicer fish. You gotta howl a bit here. There we go. There's a halibut. Might be a legal fish. Just fishing an anchovy on the bottom. That's one of the beauties of fishing the breakwater. You never know what you're gonna catch. And this guy looks like he's a I think he's legal son. Got him right here in the corner of the jaw. Have to be careful with these guys. They got Big teeth. Let's measure him really quick. See if he says he's legal. Let's see what we got over here. Here's our measurer. Oh yeah, he's way legal. Yeah, about 26. All right. First legal halibut of the day. Beautiful fish. Nice job. There we go, Dan. All right, yeah. thanks, John. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful fish. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up a delicious fish that we're catching today. Nice fish here.